The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, you get the Dow up 14, Nasdaq's up 11, S&Ps are, uh, you get the Dow down 13, S uh, Nasdaq down 11, S&Ps are off 350, uh, gold's trading up uh, 540 at 1168, we got the silver up 9 cents at 1562, uh, oil market is down 60 cents at 4401. Bonds. Uh, bonds are on the move again, folks. It's going to be wild watching this whole thing shake out. Uh, you have the 10-year up six ticks, 30 up uh, almost a full point. Now, both the 10 and the 30 had tested the lows of Friday, rejected those lows, uh, going to have lighter volume, and now you're moving topside. King dollar. King dollar's down at 278 ticks. We're at 96.96, and the uh, euro uh, is up 18. If we go take a look at first the Dow Industrial, see the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow, this is what you have. Um, Goldman Sachs is the uh, leader out here today, up 183 at 187. You have Procter & Gamble up 75. Big Mac is up uh, 78, and Verizon is up 26. Taken away from it on the way down. You got Apple down uh, 291. We're gonna have to go back to that and check that out. Uh, Chevron is down 136. You get Exxon Mobil off 85, and American Express is down 57. We go into Apple for a second. We take a look at Apple and see what's happening there, man. This is giving it back fast and furious. So Apple, um, you know, on Friday, uh, well, actually, if we take all of last week, it goes from $110 to $120, I believe, yeah, to $119.22. You're coming into uh, the way ICE is set up. Uh, you have ICE set up from August 3rd. Uh, the top of the ICE there is 122, and we got to uh, 119. Now. Apple's coming off these uh, highs of uh, Friday, like with extraordinary volume, man. This is, uh, let's see what we have happening here. So yeah, you get a seller in Apple. So let's see what they're saying. Um, okay, so Apple suppliers uh, crush fall after, okay. You got all the suppliers coming down big time too. Uh, suppliers. Okay, so let's go back into the NDX, because what you're going to see, you're going to see it's one of the Apple suppliers must have come out with numbers or something. Okay, so you got SWKS, that's almost down 5%. That's a supplier, that's down 463. AFCO's a supplier, that's down 3%, so that's down 576. Let's see what they have to say. So SWKS, so SWKS right now, that's going to, that is two separate high volume swing lows and we're going right after the first one right now the first one the closest one to where we are let's put it that way that is uh, october 6th that low is 74.53 um you're at uh, 77.91 you've done uh, 323,000 shares and so check this out this is this is where you can see that you have distribution going on and then you're already in the markdown period i mean this equity is already down from 110 but you can see on Friday, you went up with 887,000. We're not even, well, we're uh, 35 minutes into, th no, we're 40, 34, 41 minutes into the marketplace right now. And you've already done uh, 324,000. This is going to go right after the last high volume swing low, which is uh, 74.53. And uh, what's wide open is that August 24th, which is uh, 70.87. That is uh, Skyworks. If we go into, into uh, AFCO, we take a look at uh, AFCO Technologies. That's down 576. And this one here had a nice little counter turn bounce. So, you know, she's da it's down from a buck fifty, uh, but you know, last week you just went from uh, 112 up to 130, 129.83. You hit a high at 1.1 million. You're coming off that high now at 247,000. Yeah, and they're selling that away too, man. Pretty intense. Um, inside the uh, where's so NDX 100. So WFM, uh, you know, you know, it's a mess out here, folks. And I, I mean, I, this is um, yeah, the retailers are an absolute mess. It's it's pretty amazing, actually, uh, looking at that whole sector. 
Uh, for you, the Whole Foods, uh, Whole Foods uh, is not doing any better. Whole Foods is down 187 right now. That's going after the August 24th swing low. That's 30.18. And it looks like, um, you know, it has a chance of blowing that away with volume. Right now, what we've done, we've done 2.4 million. 14.3 is the number. Uh, where the heads up comes also in this whole uh, August 24th area, folks, is that there's enough equities right now that have broke that and broken down with some good juice. Um, Whole Foods, uh, you know, that came down fast, furious uh, in August, I mean, May 1st, got to lower lows. It looks like Whole Foods is gonna be making a run down to $17, and right now you're at um, 30. So big numbers, we're talking big numbers out here. We go over to the gold market, we take a look at gold. Uh, what we have with gold is that she's gonna need more juice. Um, you're at 53,000 contracts. But she's refusing to get under the 1162.50 number. Um, each and every time you're getting down to that number, she's just barking. Um, what she is going to need, they're gonna, you're going to need some building some cause to get up and over this 1168. The reason being is that on Friday, they whacked this baby right at the open, and you have some juice uh, down at those levels. We go over to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar index. What we have with the dollar Let's see. Okay, so the dollar takes out its swing points from September 3rd as well as the 25th. Has the volume. Want to take a, took them out on Friday also. So now the key is going to be: uh, can it make it up into this uh, swing swing highs that were generated out here on the uh, 7th of August? You know, it should. That's that's the bottom line. The way this. If this was, if this is, if this is a, if this gets to be a failure, get out of the way, man, because there's no way that uh, on a technical basis this thing should. Well, let's put it this way: we we know you can have failures all the time, but this shouldn't fail because of the strength that it had. And if it does, what you have, you have an extraordinary seller in the marketplace inside that dollar index. Some of the other. Uh, equities, in fact, let's go over and take a look at the leader inside the Dow. That happens to be Goldman Sachs. Well, Goldman Sachs, folks, is already down from 220. Um, there's, there's nothing behind this move here. You know, so uh, you, you've come off the high of 218 was the high in June. Come down with monster volume. And Goldman's going to have a really hard time making it through 189.25. That uh, 189.25 is a big number. Some of the other Dow stocks out here, you got uh, Big Blue is down 62 cents. Walmart is off three. You get Exxon Mobil uh, down 94. Yeah, let's go over to that oil business. So we take a look at oil. Look at natural gas is still getting whacked. That's down 3%. That's a 240. Uh, crude is trading at 44.06 right now. Yeah, she's going to go. Okay, so crude is. She's, she's broken her consolidation. The, the, the bottom of the consolidation that it's been trading in since uh, the 31st of August is 44.23. That's saying crude's got a shot to go back to a 40.57. This is a big number, man. So 40.57, folks, is where crude came off the bottom on August 27th. We're going to take a look at Chevron. Exxon, see how they're set up. Chevron's pulling back slightly, nothing heavy, but let these things go. They're, they're going to, they're going to, well, 1.46. Yeah, they, they, they got a little juice behind them. They got a long way to go down, uh, meaning to be buys. Chevron, uh, you can get excited about the 81.55, somewhere in that area. You take a look at Exxon Mobil. Exxon Mobil's the back 95, that's trading at 82. You know, somewhere down around uh, 75.90 would be a uh, good number to wrap your head around there. We go over and we take a look at the uh, silver market. So silver right now is up five cents. S I Z five. So silver, oh, silver's a nice setup. So what the, the difference between silver and gold, you know, is that you know silver is no doubt highly volatile, uh, but what silver had done on Friday. Silver pushes into the $16.10 monster volume, 48,000 contracts. That looks to me like you're setting up a beautiful ABC up. Uh, it would need more than 60,000 contracts 
as it goes into the $16.14, but this is a nice setup. It absolutely refused to back off. They couldn't, they couldn't whack this thing down. And what's sticking out like a sore thumb, um, in both the silver metal, the, the metal, silver and gold, is that high that was established out there on the 18th of May. That, that number out there, that's screaming that uh, it wants to get tested. The amazing part about it, of course, no doubt, is that you have the dollar that took out those uh, swing highs, meaning the September swing highs, and silver, they couldn't whack, and silver's continuing to go up. It's like, okay, there's, that's a major divergence. Uh, if we go back over to what, what's gonna happen here is that they get some major selling in Apple right now. Apple's down uh, 328. You've done 20 million shares already, and uh, we did, yeah, we, we did 60 million on Friday. Uh, the door's not big enough for Apple, for the shareholders of Apple to get out. Um, I just put up, if you happen in your car, I'll explain what I have here. But what I did is I just put up the block trades in Apple, and there's a monster getting out. So picture, Apple's $115 stock, and what you're looking at here, the first, I believe, uh, you're talking about sells 46,000, 45, 32, 31, 30,000, 29, 22. Big numbers, man. Big numbers. Um, that's a, that's that. There, the door would not be big enough for uh, the amount of sells that is going on in Apple right now. The Dow right now is down 25. Nasdaq's off 15. S and P's are down uh, four. You stay right there, folks. We're gonna get coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. You know what's cool? 
taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow down uh, 30, Nasdaq's off 15, S&Ps are off uh, four and a half. And uh, if we go over and we take a look at that uh, oil market, CL, uh, it's going to get interesting to see what kind of, ex uh, well, here, yeah, actually, let's go look at gas first. So you're coming into the winter and evidently we must have plenty of gas, plenty of oil, plenty of everything because that natural gas market is taking it on the chin in a huge way this morning, folks. Um, you're at 239. If we take this back, let me just see, NG1. This is pretty amazing, actually. Put this on about a three-year. This, this is quite a breakdown. So natural gas on a continuous contract. Man, this is amazing. We're going to go after uh, 210. Right now, on the, on the continuous contract, you're at 215. 210 was the low of uh, 2012. I'm putting this back even further right now. Yeah, you know, you break. The, the, way, the way this natural gas is trading right now, we got a long bar. Okay, so long bars are dangerous beyond belief, okay? You, you, were at, you went from 257 to 214 just this month. That's saying it's going to blow away 190, and then that sets up 176 and, yeah, 163. That's, that's intense, man. That's, <laughs> that's saying we, we evidently have a lot of uh, energy available to us. We go back over to this uh, oil market for a second. So intraday, you're down with volume. Looks like it's going to set up a small ABC down, which would be, uh, what's a big ABC down actually? Yeah, it's almost a dollar. It's a dollar ABC down. Even if we, if we bounced up uh, to somewhere about, uh, this is, this, is going, this is going to go after how we broke uh, topside. That's the way this is set up right now. Once you get back inside the 44.52, which we have today, the low of that bar is 40.57. So that looks like uh, we're going to have a huge amount of energy on a continual basis out here. That's the way that's set up. We go back over and we take a look at the in Europe. We go to the DAX in Germany. Uh, DAX in Germany. Um, is coming up to ice. The DAX in ice on the DAX in Germany is set up at uh, 10,892, and we've hit 8.67. You know, DAX in Germany also, uh, you know, powered forward uh, last Thursday and Friday and had some volume behind the move. The UK, we go to the UK, we take a look at the UK. UK, uh, that is uh, 6526. And right now we're at 6430. Uh, if you had listened to Larry's program, uh, there is no doubt that uh, the extensions on uh, many of these indices, uh, in the U.S. indices, that is, 
uh, they're right. They're right at that point. They're either going to make it or break it. You know. So we'll see how that uh, shakes out. If we go to the NYA and the NYA folks. So so what the NYA is? That's the all the equities and bond funds and bonds that trade at and New York Stock Exchange. Okay. So it's a it's a very large mixture um, of what what you have uh, trading. Uh, that NYA we're at uh, ten thousand four. 69 and um, ice isn't up until uh, 10,622 so it's going to be intriguing to see can it get up into that level you know there's there's no doubt uh, that underlying this market there's a lot of equities that are so weak it's incredible let's go over to the NDX for a second because Apple's weak but some someone else is coming strong in the NDX because the NDX just went from down uh, 10 to flat so Baidu.com is up 11.30. That's probably the one that just shot it up. Let's see. Yeah, well, not, not, not really. NDX, let's see what's putting juice into it. So uh, uh, Stericycle is up 2.99. Tesla, that's been down. That's down 4.70. You got uh, Priceline. Uh, Tesla is up 4.70, rather. Priceline is up uh, $28. Um, Skyworks, Whole Foods, there's something inside this NDX 100 though. Let me just go look at this for a second. So if we bring up the NQs for a second. Yeah, there's going to be a, it, what we have happening here is going to be, it looks to me like it's going to be a slow roll because Apple still is down. And with Apple down, folks, uh, with volume, Apple's going to affect the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the S&P, okay? Apple up or down two points, which is pretty amazing, affects all three of them. You stay right there, folks, and come right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed 
that has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN has just announced a brand new morning lineup that is geared specifically for traders in this volatile traders market. Every morning at 8 a.m., John Logan starts things off with his daily program, The Global Market Pulse. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento trades the market during the market open Monday through Friday on Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom O'Brien hosts the Money Masters for the hour, and Basil Chapman hosts his Tiger Technicians Hour at 11 a.m. From 8 a.m. till noon every market day, these traders are with you as they provide up-to-the-second market information so that you can make the most educated and profitable trades possible. The new TFNN morning lineup is happening right now. Tune in to see for yourself what kind of actionable trading discussion they have each morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m., live only on Tiger TV at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow down 20, NASDAQ off 8. S&Ps are off uh, 3.5. I want to thank all those tigers in the den because it is, uh, it's the IBB, folks, that's putting uh, some juice into the, the NDX. Uh, you know, it's down, uh, It's well, it's really flat. It's down two points right now. Bottom line, though, the uh, IBB, um, 311 to 316 right now, it's flat, okay? Bottom line is that uh, we've done 640,000 shares. And she's at the top of the range. If we go take a look at a few of the equities inside it, you get GILD. Uh, that is pushing the last swing high that it had. Uh, Gilead on last Thursday went up nine points, so 9%. It went from 100 to 109. Right now, you're at 109.35. And you're doing it with 2 million shares. Uh, and that is coming into the downdraft, by the way. Gilead is an equity that went from 123 down to uh, 93. We take a look at Celgene, CELG, what you have with Celgene, Celgene is also up 244. Uh, that uh, is, uh, ICE is laid out at uh, 124, yeah, 124. Um, that doesn't have the amount of juice that um, Gilead does have. Uh, Amgen, what do you have with Amgen out here? Amgen right now is uh, up 116, you're at 766. That's going after the swing low of 156.14. Uh, um, VRX. Now, this one's going to get really intriguing, you know, because this is um, uh, Valiant. Valiant has traded from 106 today to uh, 116. They're having a, uh, they have, it was started at 8 a.m., a conference call. Um, bottom line is that the, the first news out of the conference call was that uh, they were asking the SEC to investigate Citron. Um, Citron uh, and Andrew Left was the was the folks that came out with a paper, um, basically saying that uh, well, speculating that it, that uh, they could be uh, cooking their books. Uh, what you what you what you had out there, if you read the journal this morning, the journal had an amazing um, article this morning. And what it is, folks, is that um, they have this third party uh, pharmaceutical company that's that they do business with, and like there's all fake names, and these, these, there's three separate fake names that are uh, working for this company, Philbro, and they actually have worked for them since the beginning of their association with uh, Valiant, okay? Bottom line is that uh, it stinks, and when something stinks, folks, guess what? They're gonna find out uh, uh, how this uh, is shaken out. Let's go to Carlos in Garden Grove, California. Hey, Carlos, what's going on, man? Oh, Tom. Good How you morning. been? How are you? I'm doing I'm great, very, man. Very Yourself? Well, thank you. Oh, very well. Very well, thanks. Back from Arizona. I was working over there, and now I'm back in Garden Grove. Yeah, back home. That's a beautiful thing, yeah. man. Totally. Yes, and I, I heard you were in Nevada at the time I was there, and I, I, I just felt that we were so close that I, 
I was thinking about visiting you, but it'll be next time. I couldn't have the opportunity to do it. That's awesome. Hey, let me ask you, is Garden Grove in Southern California? Yes, it's in Orange County. Right that's what I thought, man. You know what? Oh, that's so cool, man, because I was stationed at El Toro, and I thought, I, yes. that's right near Tustin, right? Yes. Okay. We're in between the city of Anaheim, yep. Huntington Beach, and yep. practically Orange. I know that the place. I was just looking at it. That's awesome, man. That's yeah, a, that's a, maybe by the time you were here, there were only orange groves, and now it's uh, there's no orange. Uh, no, I orange listen. Detail. I know, man. I mean, I I know, man. It's it's pretty wild. It really is. That's, and Huntington Beach. You know, it's so crazy, folks. There wasn't even a house at Huntington Beach, which is crazy. It was just all these yeah. beautiful, like. You know, but hey, that's the way it goes, I guess. Yeah, now it's a very expensive city to live in. Oh, big time, man. Oh, yes. I don't know very, how you guys nice. do it out there. I'm not kidding, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. Crazy. So, so I have a question related to uh, uh, Exemy, and um, I want to know how far this can pull back before I uh, uh, actually, I can see, I bought this a very good price before, uh, okay. it was in October at the time I was in Arizona. Yep. And I bought it around right below 17. Okay, so but let's take a look at it. pulling a little bit back. Yeah, so the XME folks, um, this is it's kind of intriguing. This is a um, exchange traded fund um, and it's metals and mining. Now, it's more than just gold and silver because when you look at it, the largest weighting is Newmont, 5.4%. Then you get Stillwater, 5.4%. Stillwater is a platinum play uh, in Montana. Royal Gold, which is a uh, gold company. Commercial metals, I'm not sure what that is. We can find out. That's 5.1%. Freeport Mac brands, 4.8%. Reliance Steel, Nucor, uh, Steel Dynamics. So you have steel inside here, so you got iron ore. You get platinum, you get gold. That's what it looks like. Um, okay, so comes off the bottom, has strength. Well, I like what it did on Friday, man. This was pushing higher on Friday when the, you know, what happened on Friday, folks, is this, is that the metals went down, but the equities didn't. There were buyers inside the equities. You know, this can get into 1756 again. Where I'm going with that, Carlos, is 1756 is the October 5th level where it came off the bottom, you know? Yes. Uh, but I like what happened to this on Friday, man. It would be absolutely awesome if today um, this baby, you know, you're at 1806. Um, it hasn't rejected lower price but if you could reject lower price out here today, this would be pretty intense, man. Well, this is what I did, Tom, and I have followed your advice in the past. When I had some profits on, on a stock like this, if, uh, after the first move, I sell half of my position so I can play with the shares that have already gains on okay. it. Okay, perfect. And and I, at least I will be playing with those profits and my stop is right below the uh, 1623. Okay. At least 25, 25 cents below the 1623. Yeah, you're gonna be. The stop is too close. No, I think that's awesome, man. It's not even close. I, I think, I mean, if you did that, you, you actually, so if this thing got back into, man, it'd be really sweet if it actually went to 1756 and you did that because if we rejected that level, that's where you could take that other half position again, man, because well, that's what one of the beautiful things I have learned from you because I'm in FCX, NUGT, XME, and those have a very strong move. And you said when that strong move will show up. I remember last time I spoke to you, I was I asked about NUGT. Yep. Sell half of my position and keep the rest with the stop. So yeah. let the market let get me out. Is that right? Nice. Yeah. Hey, it is. You know, the di the difference with the NUGT, I mean, this is, you know, this is dangerous holding any of these, you know, doubles or triples for a long period of time because as they go back and forth, you know, the bull and the bear position can be losers, um, yeah. you know, but when you look at this on, like, right here, you know, this has been basing out since July 17th, and yeah. if you lay this out, folks, and you put the channel at the top, of the range, which is 5260, and at the bottom, you're going to see that there's buyers here. There's, there's, you know, there's buyers in these equities. Um, if you go to, well, it was intriguing in the journal this morning. There's also uh, 
uh, an article about the, you know, what happens in the futures market, folks, is that you, you get the commitment of traders report, um, you know, every week. And what that, that was about this morning is this, just how wrong uh, the commitment of traders report has been in the last, I think they had last 12 weeks in the gold market. <laughs> Um, you know, so that's that's good news for the bulls. Let's put it that way. That's my that's my take on that. You know, so. Uh, well, Tony, I just want to ask you for a favor. Yes. And, uh, that's a special favor. See, I remember you t uh, once you told us the story how you started in this uh, trading business. Yeah. And it was very inspiring for me. Uh, it was I got it uh, very touched with the way you actually start doing uh, things in this business and. I admire. I really admire that. So I would. I, I want to ask you for a favor. Uh, uh, if you have the opportunities, can you tell this story in a more detail? Because I really want to record it and keep listening about it. No problem. Well, you have you have a better story than anyone, man. I mean, that this is you know uh, seriously, man. Okay, yeah. you know when, when you talk about that, we are a country of immigrants, and and particularly because all these crazy politicians seem to forget it. I know. Okay, and it's like insane. Yeah. Okay, and if you don't know it, folks, so you came from Mexico. What I, I mean, you couldn't even speak English, right? And you're listening to the no. program, right? No, I didn't. I, I was. I remember the only thing that kept me listening to your program was that when you say "wow," <laughs> that, was, that was my first thing. Say, well, is this guy crazy? Or what? That's and then I start listening, and then I start getting the hang of it. And now I after so many years, so many years, but right. I'm gonna keep you, you working get, on that language. And you get the kids in school. I mean, it's it's yeah. huge, man. I mean, it's it's so it's so cool because the. The aspect, folks, this country is, they're all, the only people, okay, that lived in this country are American Indians, okay? And what blows my mind is that, and, you know, depending what nationality you are, I remember growing up, and in my grandmother's house, Irish need not apply. We were all the same. And the thing that's so sick, man, is that every social, um, you know, um, folks that came in this we everyone was supposed to destroy the country i mean when you look back in the country for you know it was gonna it was it's, it's crazy it's it's the irish the italian the lithuanians the polish the mexicans the spanish the, i mean it, it's like don't anyone really read history it's like insane it's just yeah. wild and and thanks to your um your program i have learned a lot and uh, like i said i have a daughter who's graduating from business school and uh two majors on it and the other one going for the same type of uh, uh, major business. And I think it's where the money is. It so, is. It so, is. Because so. you know what's so cool? What happens, and this is what I found, yeah, I, you know, what happens, folks, if you're just starting out, even if you make $200 or $300 or whatever that is, and you're in business, right? Yeah. What happens is that it's yours, and you just have to have the confidence that you can build that up over the course of time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's what makes it pretty neat. Do you know what I mean? Well, Tom, thank you ever, for everything and uh, keep doing the work you're doing for your listeners, listeners that will really appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. well, listen, man, we're going to, and as one of the Tigers just said, I'm going to send this clip to Donald Trump, man, and we'll, we'll, we'll find out where he stands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, I'll that keep the to listen to your program. I'll keep the politics out of it, but we, I'm going. I, I should send it to him. Hey, Carlos, it's always a pleasure, man. Thank you. Have Thank a great you, one, man. Thank you for your team. Thank you. Thanks, man. Bye. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You gotta love it, folks. I'm telling you, man. Oh, you know what? You know what's really freaking cool? There's no doubt. Waking up to a Monday morning, starting, and you get a call like that. Do you know the kind of juice that it puts under me in particular? Okay, that all of us, I think, okay. But that is, uh, that's the essence of uh, cranking it out, going, you know, all of the above, uh, and just doing the, the best you can do. Uh, Market-wise out here, these NQs, uh, it must be the IBB. Let's see what's uh, putting the juice underneath them. So, yeah, there she goes. Cell jeans coming up the... Uh, so sell jeans number three, sell jeans up four bucks at 124. You got uh, INCY up four bucks at 114. You got uh, Regenerant up $13 at 550. 
Um, Ray Jenneran's a trip, man. Ray Jenneran, folks, okay, goes up or down $20, it seems like, uh, every other day. Um, it, that, that, this is an equity that was uh, $605 uh, August 5th. On the September 28th, it was uh, 435 That's a swing of almost $200. That's a 30% swing. Uh, you're coming back up to the uh, level of uh, 557 and you know what that does, folks? Okay, let's go over to the IBB. What's so cool about this, all this is doing is setting up another beautiful shot inside the IBB. The IBB right now is going after a swing point. That swing being a 321, going to take it out today, and I would just love to see this IBB get all the way up somewhere into like 354. And right now, you're laying out there at uh, 322. Because up at those particular levels, the way it's, well, let's put it this way, the way it's going up there at this particular point, it's getting up there, and the volume is contracting as we're getting up into those levels. Uh, we'll go over to the dollar just for a second. The dollar, this is going to be amazing if the dollar actually fails at this uh, 96, 92 area. It's pulling right back to this area. Now, it's pulling back with dramatically lighter volume. Uh, but you close underneath that area, it'll start making its way back into that. And that'll be so weird, man, because what has happened is that each and every time that the dollar got up to this uh, 96, 92 area, uh, there's been large sellers. And on last Thursday and Friday, it definitely had the juice. I mean, you're talking about big volume blasting through that area. We get over and we take a look at the bond market just for a second. But this would be the week that that could happen. The reason being, folks, is that what we do have is that you have the Federal Reserve that's going to start meeting tomorrow. They will come out with their statement on Wednesday. Um, you know, the way the market's set up right now, uh, Yellen, Janet Yellen, the last time that the Fed had meet, uh, met, you know, bottom line, they didn't go up on rates. The market was expecting them to go up on rates. There's only this meeting, and there's a meeting in December. The real, so are they going to throw a curveball at the market and go up on rates? You know, we'll see. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Dow Industrials are down six. Nasdaq's up eight. S&Ps are down a point and a half. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today.
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. And don't forget, folks, uh, at TFNN, you can get all the programming right on your cell phone, tfnn.mobi. If you uh, want to get Tiger TV, just go to tfnn.com. On the right-hand side, you'll see Watch Tiger TV. You can hit that. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. Uh, then uh, you're going to have... Um, um, Let's see, Monday. Okay, so we're gonna bat, we got Basil Chapman, we got uh, Steve Rhodes, uh, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, of course, we got Andy Hecht uh, from uh, 5 to 6. On Wednesdays and uh, Thursday, we got our man, Mr. Darrell Martin. Uh, what's going to get intriguing, no doubt, if you do have eSignal, you know that we are the platform uh, broadcasting on eSignal. And what we did have out here this morning, which is pretty amazing, is that ICE. Uh, which is the Intercontinental Exchange, which owns the New York Stock Exchange, folks, just bought um, Interactive Daily, which is eSignal. So it's going to get intriguing watching this whole thing uh, shake out. Uh, they just paid uh, five, I think it's $5.2 billion. Um, they paid, uh, yeah, it's $5.2 billion deal. It's a $3.6 billion cash deal. It's a $1.5 billion stock deal. Uh, what is amazing, uh, no doubt, uh, when you look at the whole context of um, how trading is going. Uh, you know, ICE was a new exchange that started, but guess what? Uh, they didn't have floor traders. What they had is that they had technology, and it's, uh, it's uh, technology and its servers that are basically running everything uh, in this day and age. That's how this thing uh, has shaken out and looks like it's going to continue to shake out uh, in the future. We go over, let's go take a look at the uh, bond market, USZ, because bo bonds. Because of the, the Fed, too, folks, okay, you know, uh, on Wednesday, this is going to be a big number, you know, and the more I keep thinking, I would say, are they going to throw a curveball on this? It doesn't look to me like they are going to be able to throw the curveball and raise rates. The, re the reason being is that some of the numbers that are coming out continue to be uh, pretty weak. Uh, sales of uh, new homes just came out this morning, and that's a 10-year low. You know, you, you, you can, we're at, uh, they dropped 11.5% to 468,000. And, you know, the real, I haven't looked through these numbers yet, but uh, is it because some cities are too expensive or is there not enough land? You know, I, I suspect it's a little of uh, both, but, um, you know, if you, uh, if more numbers get lower, that's going to be a problem. The inside the retail sector, 
The retail sector, folks, just looks like none of us are spending uh, money on retail. Now, that may be it. Or what may be happening is that that retail sector itself is just getting destroyed by Amazon. You know, um, you know we'll see where that uh, does shake out. But, uh, you know, uh, Tommy and I, uh, when we were doing the show, uh, the Nadex show on Friday, we were kind of talking, we were, we were absolutely talking about um, Amazon because the uh, shopping on Amazon is not only easy, it's inexpensive and everything's delivered right to your door. You know, so it's possible that uh, the retailers themselves, the shift is going from us actually going to stores um, as much as we used to versus just online. Because, you know, when you look at all companies, you only have to, you know, lose 10, 15 percent of your business and that will flatten out your business like in about two seconds flat. And uh, that is very well um, what may be happening inside those retailers because retailers no doubt have uh, large rents, rent structures, inventory, control, all of the above where Amazon doesn't. I mean, uh, they don't and uh, the prices are inexpensive. Uh, I think one of the biggest deals is that you don't leave your, your desktop or you don't leave your house. And all of a sudden everything shows up. You don't like it, you send it back. You like it, you wear it, uh, you're off to the races. You stay right there, folks. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman. It's going to be coming up next. Growling a problem with you. Dow right now is down nine. Nasdaq's up 10. S&Ps are off a buck and a half. Gold up four bucks. Silver's up eight cents. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look forward to speaking right back here this afternoon, folks. Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.